Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to my toy channel. This is, I got some new toys for my toy channel. So this is the Curiosity Box. Just got this December 2020. And this is a new box. And, well, I mean, it's a new box, obviously. But it's a new box design. So it's got this mesmerizing, almost, ooh. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy looking at it. A uh, very nice optical illusion going there with the black and white checkerboard. Uh, so let's open this box up and see what we got this month or this quarter from the Vsauce the Curiosity box. All right, here we go. I'll show you everything here and then if I need to do some close-ups, maybe we'll do that. All right, so we got this book. It's called... The End of Everything, Astrophysically Speaking, by Katie Mack. <laughs> this book teaches you that the universe could end at any moment, but it's good that you'll be rooting for it not to, at least, and not until you finish the book. <laughs> this is The End of Everything, combines deep thinking about physics and the big picture awe and style of Carl Sagan. Everything dies, even the universe, they say. So... This is where um, I have a little, <laughs> I don't know how much I'll read this book. Um, I might read it, uh, but I have a different perspective of the universe than other scientists. All right, we got the Inks Pyramid Prism. What is this thing? Let's open this up and see what this is. See if I can do oh, that is interesting. It says, this breathtakingly clear crystal pris prism grants you the power to actually change the speed of light. When light from a sun sunbeam, laser, or other light or other source shines through the pyramid, it refracts, which means that it slows down and bends. Okay. Since the change in speed and amount of bend depends on the frequency color of a light ray, the refraction can break up visible. Oh, okay, I can make a rainbow. So I can set that in the living room when the sun is shining through uh, the back door window and the cat, Charlie, is laying there. Uh, now he can have a rainbow to look at. It's actually it's a pretty neat little piece just as it is. <laughs> Even without the rainbow, it's actually pretty neat. So it's just clear. Oh, actually it looks neat from that. Oh, if I turn it just the right way. I can see the I, I can see it. You can't see it, but I'm seeing the lights from above, and I'm seeing blues and purples. If I turn it that way, that is pretty neat. Ah, don't know how to translate that to being on camera though. So the pyramid prism. We have the kinetic torus knot. It says, it says, this ribbon of stainless steel has been wrapped into a torus knot, a special arrangement of a helix around the surface of a donut, which mathematicians call a torus. I'm probably saying that word wrong, T-O-R-U-S. Its unusual shape leads to some astonishing qualities. You can collapse and expand it with a tap, wear it like a bracelet, and roll it up and down your arm, even suspend an object in space in the middle of the ring. Huh. Oh, it's my new bracelet. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and then I can go like this. Wait a minute. Uh oh. But then, how do you put your hand through that? It looks like, uh, oh, it collapsed around my hand. Uh. <laughs> wow. So if I do like that, you can suspend an object from this. That is so neat. I will probably break it. Don't let the grandkids play with it, right? Oh, I don't have any grandkids. Oh, I think I've broke it. Now I've made it a ball. 
Let's see if I can close it back. I did it! <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I did it! Alright, we got the potato clock. Oh no. Two potatoes, four electrodes, and a readout create a fully functioning timepiece. Potatoes provide slight acidic environment where zinc oxide and copper is reduced. So does it inc it doesn't include the potatoes. <laughs> so can it power my internet? Sometimes I feel like my internet is a potato. So I guess you uh yeah, you put your potatoes right here. <laughs> I'll actually have to try that. Um yeah, it's got the two different leads there. See, we can actually power my clock with a potato. That's that's funny. That is actually that that, that is actually pretty fun. And what happens when the potato battery dies? What does it say here? Experiment with different foods. Acidic and sodium rich ones are great. Try bananas, cola, pickles. And what happens if you soak the food in salt water or cook it? Does it matter how deeply you insert the electrodes? The world of electrochemistry is your playground. So this one offers a lot of opportunities for experimenting. This is uh, this is a really good box, I have to say. I'm so far I'm quite pleased with this box. Whoa. What on earth? It's a it almost looks like a tie-dye t-shirt. Except it, this is a different material than some of the other shirts we've received, it looks like. Oh, it's the moon! <coughs> Excuse me. It's actually a moon t-shirt. That is pretty cool. And the material is satiny like a it's like it's like oh sorry my microphone it's like one of my star trek t-shirts <laughs> star trek uniform t-shirts that's pretty cool let's see if it says anything about it on here that's the stuff to order things we have the inquisitive fellowship introducing our first fellows are any of these fellows girls yes <laughs> there's a fellow up and at them we have Jordan, Jordan Harad. We have Jabril's, <laughs> and who was that last? Twelve Tone, and Up and Adam, and Jordan. Oh, sorry, Jordan. We dropped them. All right. So those are some interesting uh, YouTube channels, science-based and such YouTube channels uh, that have helped ones like that. So they got special commemorative cards for them. And what do we have here? It is wrapping paper. Studies show that wrapping gifts can increase people's enjoyment of the gift by 16%. Why stop there, though? This selection of wrapping paper allows for you to wrap gifts in optical illusions. Oh, check out the inside of the box, too. I'm going to have to... Now, some of the boxes I've not kept... But this is a card here. I think this is the card is probably what's in the box. Yeah. But it looks actually good there in the bottom of the box. I'm actually... I wish I didn't have, I didn't have to put the shipping label on it. <laughs> I wonder if I had to figure out how to take the shipping label off. Because I think this is a box that I will keep. Um, it's pretty cool. So did I cover everything? The potato clock, the lunar surface t-shirt, Inks Kinetic Taurus Knot, the wrapping paper, the end of everything, Inquisitive Fellowship, and uh, the prism. Oh, and then we got a Exa Punk Steam game. Have a blast with the 90s hacking-inspired video game. You'll read zines, write viruses, and hack into buildings, game consoles, and your own body. Visit curiositybox.com slash exapunks to download the game zines required. All right, and I am keeping up my streak if I haven't I haven't played any of the games. <laughs> I'm just not that 
Yeah, I'm not a game person. I try to get my son to play some of them, perhaps, maybe in the future. He likes video games. All right, so that is the new Curiosity Box with the Illusion. Uh, what are some of your favorite things here? We got the wrapping paper. I'm going to put everything back in the box as I do this. We got the wrapping paper, the potato clock, which I do need to try this with bananas and stuff. We got, you can order more stuff. We got the game. We got the fellows that are two girls and a couple other people. Uh, the moon lunar surface t-shirt, which is satiny material. We have the kinetic tourist ring thingy, which is actually pretty cool. We got the end of everything, which is how much I'll read that book. And we got the pyramid prism, which is pretty cool. I'm going to say, I'm actually going to take this one upstairs and let it try it out later today when the, um, the sun is shining through the back door. Um, so that is another curiosity box unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm putting everything back in the box except for the pure pr prism. So see you guys in the next video.